What up you lab rats? This is episode number 42. And today we're talking about developing your voice. This is different. Stay tuned. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the Lab Rat Dailies. This is the in-between show of the main show uh, between Kevin and I on the Get In Lab podcast on Wednesdays. So uh, every day now on the Lab Rat Dailies, I talk to you guys. We hang out. We talk about uh, things uh, every single day, and uh, every day has a theme. And today's theme is Throwback Thursday because it's Thursday. And uh, on Throwback Thursday, I like to kind of look back at the past and past mistakes and past lessons learned and and share that with you guys so that you um, can become better content creators and and learn from my mistakes and and we can always kind of just look off in in yonderment and go that was weird or damn what was I thinking like I said today we're going to talk about developing your voice okay and as you can tell I'm in a little bit of a different setup today because I am speaking at Podcast San Diego, and while I have put that kind of in the back of my mind for the last week, it is now resurfaced. And so now I'm like, hmm, I must prepare. (laughs) Uh, So this is part of a little exercise for myself that I'm doing, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a mic like this, but I want to get used to delivering content and speaking to the camera and kind of get in the in the motions and in the driver's seat of what it's going to feel like to be talking in front of people on a stage and to be standing delivering the content. And the reason why um, I was inspired to do this was I was watching one of Pat Flynn's videos, and you should check it out on uh, SBI TV about him podcasting standing up. And I was like, huh. I never thought of that. And, you know, what is that going to do for my performance? And um, not that I'm performing for you guys, but like you do have to bring a sense of uh, an amount of um, energy that is a little bit raised than, you know, versus if I was just talking to you one on one, you know. So I want to put myself in the driver's seat of that and kind of get familiar with all the gears so that I can experiment and see and what and, you know, just kind of get ready for it. And, you know, when the time comes that I am as comfortable and as ready as I can be um, and that I deliver in the best way that I that I can. Okay, so let's get into today's episode, though. Let's talk about what was I talking about? Oh, yes. Developing your voice. So a lot of times I've been reading some blogs and they're like, don't worry about developing your voice. Just hit uh, just hit publish. Right. And um, well, there's two truths in that. Like, I do believe like, yes, you must start now, if not when, right? If not when, then you must start now. Um, at the same time, I do, I do not believe that you shouldn't stop to try to develop your voice. Uh, one of the b- main things that kind of held me back from producing video, um, was one thing I, I really didn't know what to do. I was overwhelmed. Another thing was I didn't know how to deliver the content. And whenever I would watch a video that I made, say two to three years ago, probably like two years ago, um, it was, it was, it was all right. It was cringeworthy and I would put it out and I wouldn't really get any traction on it. And I think I remember somebody even telling me like, you sound lecturing, you sound like you're lecturing me. And it's like, I got the point and I, at the, you know, after watching your video, I just really don't even want to hear anything from you anymore. <laughs> they didn't say all of that, but that's what I got from what they were saying. And I was like, okay, that's, um, that's good. (laughs) I mean, well, that's bad for me, but that's good that I was able to hear that and take that and incorporate that into how I deliver my content in video and on the podcast mic. So one of the main things also too that I noticed was that I hated about performing or delivering my content was my voice. It was so high and I couldn't help but speak at this really high level and be like right here and be up in my head and always kind of thinking like that. And I wasn't really grounded in my own body and what I was saying. And I wasn't, I wasn't feeling (laughs) as it got lower, I wasn't feeling it. You know, I wasn't grounded in what I was saying. And I could just, I could just feel that uneasiness rubbing off on people I was interviewing and rubbing off through the camera because the, the lens sees so much more than you know 
you know, and uh, I was just watching a documentary on the Oscars and the the actors were giving their kind of, you know, opinions about what it's like to be an actor and what it's like to perform. And in many ways, I often thought about um, d- how to deliver my content and, and and the ways that I was going to improve upon that as a as a sort of like acting. I thought of it as an acting thingy. And um, I want to lay down for you guys what I went through, the process that I went through on this Throwback Thursday on how I started to really develop my voice consciously. Okay, because you can just do things kind of unconsciously and the more you put out content, yes, you will get better. Um, But I didn't want to wait forever to get better. I wanted to be better now. So if you want to be better now and I think there's always room for improvement, um, this is what I did and I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay, so the first thing that... I started to do when trying to improve and develop my voice was I noticed it, right? Don't you you ever run into somebody who you run into and they're kind of awkward and they're kind of weird and yeah, maybe they're super introverted, but they don't even get it. They don't even see that they're kind of weird and awkward. And it's like, I'm not picking on people. I'm not that person. But at the same time, like if you're putting out this kind of weird vibe and you don't even know it, you don't even know what to improve upon, then (laughs) you got a problem. Like that's step one. You need awareness. You need to have that meta of, okay, I, I'm here and I need to be here. I need to be better, right? I need to be a lot better. And so I think when I realized that I needed to be better, that was, that was the whole thing that sparked everything, right? It's like, well, um, I need to be better. And I'm aware of that. So what do I need to do? You that's step one. You need to be aware, right? You need to be aware that you need to be better. Okay. So the next step, (laughs) the next step for me was to surround myself with people who kind of, I, I would imagine that I would speak like them if I were in a type of, you know, content delivery setting. Okay. So I would watch a lot of uh, Chelsea Lately at the time. I was obsessed with Chelsea, Chelsea Lately. I would watch a lot of Inside the Actor's Studio because I like the kind of confidence and uh, that they have about themselves and how they deliver, w- how they talk about themselves in the chair. And uh, who else would I watch? Even, even people like um, the Hodge Twins who were just completely comfortable with being them, completely comfortable. Whatever comes out of their mouth, they're totally unedited. They just let the camera roll. And that was a big inspiration. Gary Vaynerchuk, totally. <laughs> He's so in your face about things and very honest with himself and very honest with the audience. And that is something I wanted to incorporate into how I was going to deliver my content and my message or whatever I was doing on the mic or in video. I wanted to be that comfortable, right? And so I surrounded myself with that. I still do that. I always keep those channels just kind of around and handy and surrounding me all the time because I'm not a natural guys I am not a natural and nowadays it's very very flattering when somebody goes you're a natural you sound like a natural that's like oh (laughs) all my years of working (laughs) it's uh it's paying off like it's it's really great to be validated that way however I always feel a little bit like because I know the truth right I know who I am and I'm not this person um, naturally, right? I have developed the skill to be better and I have practiced and it's a daily practice to be better on the mic in front of the camera. Um, but just know guys, I, I'm not naturally good at this and it took a long time, not that long, because like I said, I was not that, you know, I wasn't unconscious about it. If I, if I hadn't been doing the things that I was doing, consciously trying to get better at my craft, then I wouldn't be here talking to you like this. So, you know, it feels good. (laughs) All right. So next thing I did is kind of, kind of weird. Um, but it kind of goes because I'm weird, uh, is that I practiced in the car every time I had at least like a 15 to 30 and longer commute or drive anywhere. I would straight up talk to myself, okay? And I didn't care what I looked like, but if I had something on my mind and that I wanted to talk about, I would imagine I was being interviewed by somebody, Oprah, 
inside the actor's studio, I would imagine I was being interviewed and what I was going to sound like and what kind of content I was going to deliver. And I would just talk about, for one, my story, right? And our, or I would talk about kind of the struggles that I was going through at that time. And it really helped. It was like going, <laughs> it was like going to therapy, just talking to myself like that and all the while developing my own speaking skills. Okay. So that's what I did. That's my big secret. I do that in the car. I still do that. And, uh, it, it really does help. It really does help. And like I said, you know, I kept, I kept hitting publish, even though I wasn't completely, I didn't completely find my voice, but I kept hitting publish. I kept putting stuff out, even though it wasn't where I wanted it to be. And I don't think it's ever going to be 100% perfect. That's not the point. The point is that you keep putting out the best that you can do at that time, right? That's all I ask of you guys. And that's all I ask of myself, which is to give 110% and create content with heart. That's it. That's really it. And as long as that is there, um, it doesn't have to be the best thing ever. Um, but as long as you have that foundation, that is going to carry you uh, through a lot of the thick and the thin that, that comes with being your own boss and being a content creator and running your own business and life and life, right? If you give 110% and you do that with your heart and you're truly genuine with what, uh, with who you are, right? And that takes time. It takes time to kind of come to grips with who you are sometimes. Um, I would say it took me a long time, but maybe not as long as others because I got a head start. And some people never stop to be introspective and have this meta awareness about them and say, that's weird or that's bad. I need to improve that. And it's only it's up to you whether or not, you know, it, it's it's worth it to change, to evolve. Right. So that's it, guys. That is the throwback Thursday episode for today on developing your voice. That is what I did uh, for the last three years or so to feel at this level, this comfortable in front of the mic, holding this mic, which is very weird and awkward. It's very heavy. It's not heavy, but, you know, it's annoying. It's like right here. Uh, and to be in front of the camera, to feel this comfortable and whatever level this is, uh, this is what it took. That's what it took for me. So um, I hope that this helps you or inspires you if you're on that journey right now. If you feel like I'm not sounding like I want to sound or I'm not looking the way I want to look, good. At least you noticed, right? So keep surrounding yourself with examples that um, will bring you to that and surround yourself with the environment that will allow you to grow in that way, right? So Think of it as you are just nurturing yourself like a little plant and you need to create the sun and the air and the water and the space and the whatever for it to happen. Okay. And all of those things, like I talked about, those are part of those things that make that happen and that create that kind of atmosphere. But only you can do that. Okay. Because it's your thing. It's your issue. It's your voice. Okay. So and a question for you so if you were kind of like me and you were super introverted what was the first thing that you started to do to help yourself kind of get outside of your shell um, I'd love to hear it in the comments and maybe other people watching this video can grab some ideas from you as well okay so um uh, yeah, that was today's Throwback Thursday episode on the Lab Rat Dailies. I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if you did. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. Every day we put out a show and every day has a theme. Tomorrow's theme is Good Shit Friday. We're going to talk about results, good shit, news, <laughs> good stuff. All right. So um, I think by now we will be in Maui kind of enjoying swimming, fishing, perhaps shooting the Maui episode. Once again, my name is Megan, reminding you to get in the lab. And we'll see you next time. Peace out. That was good, huh? I feel very weird with this. It's like it's not attached to me anymore. <laughs> it's like my podcast arm. My literal podcast arm. Okay. Are we good? We're good.